Oh, my God. That actually, I mean, it's not funny, but it's so funny when you find out either, we, we kind of talked about this one, when you, you're you pregnant like Monica is. Right. And you find out like that <laughs> all of a sudden you got your nails done and then there's something or yeah. you're not supposed and to get your you've nails been done. you drinking all night and had your hair bleached. Well, yeah. you know, not like that. But, you know, there's something that comes out and you've been doing it the whole eight months, you know, because she's, what, about eight and a half? But are there less, <laughs> aside from progress in medicine where you find naturally uh, children with some kind of health disorder, huh? are there- What was that statement? Well, if you, got, <laughs> if you got, get pregnant naturally and there's a birth defect and the doctor finds it and works on it. Okay. In the womb. Okay. Which is a fairly new thing. Okay. Uh, are there more uh, children born today with medical maladies because of, uh, or less because we found these things out? Like people bleaching Can their I hair. get back to you? No, well, like my I don't mom, know. I don't I'm know. sure, bleached her hair and stuff and yeah, did but her I nails. Don't, I don't know. Through, my whole pre- through her whole pregnancies. Uh, yeah, I have no idea. But I, I, I have no idea. I mean, I think there's more warnings now. Right. Yeah. I, but is it helping? I don't know. I would guess that it's really gone down because you don't see a lot of the um, deformities. You see. Remember like circus pinheads? You hardly ever see that. Oh, those? Not on Not on Maury yesterday. <laughs> no, Aww. those were kids with no arms and legs, but a little different. And some of them weren't kids. See that guy right. bowling? That guy was a grown-up. Right. I think it was mean they made him roll down the hill. Yeah. I, now, we weren't there. The sound wasn't up. I don't oh. know they made them. You guys left me in here with the drunk guy, and so we were watching it. They gave the one girl with no arms and no legs a bicycle, and then she said, well, I'll figure out a way to ride it. I thought that was mean, to give her a, a prize <laughs> that she had to go home and try and do a mathematical the equation to, to figure out how to use. The way to ride it is to put a buggy on it and have someone else pedal. Yeah. Put her in the basket. Or maybe her tongue's really long. <laughs> Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I, I'm trying to think of anything she can use as a utensil, and her tongue is the only thing that she can use as an actual thing that, you know, can... Right, but she has no arms and no legs. Imagine if she could sit on a bicycle and pedal it with her tongue. Now maybe, she has another deformity. I got it. Maybe her eyelashes are connected to strings, or her eyelids are it's strings, and they pull up the pedals. One <laughs> Blink, 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 blink. They're really light pedals. Something to think about. It's not like a, a I, lot of terrain. No, no, it's I like think, a skating I, rink I think kind you've of surface. solved the problem. Hey, you'd be amazed at the crap those people can use. No, can you remember that lady that what, got kicked out of a grocery store because she was thumping melons with her feet because she had no arms yeah. and she could pick them up with her feet and pay with her feet? That lady rocked. Uh, but uh, this is why I, I'm talking about this. So you find out this stuff. Well, Stench found out yesterday. <laughs> tell him what happened. I took the kid for the one-year checkup. Yeah. He has the one year. Sure. And then and they tell you the things that you already knew. Like, all right, now you can start giving them whole milk. Yeah, It's okay now for honey. And you can start giving them egg whites. And I, all that I already knew. And, right. and then she goes, but still be really, really cautious of the peanut butter. And I was like, oh, my God. I've been giving this kid peanut butter for six months. <laughs> well, it's peanuts. They could be a bad one. Yes, yeah, yeah, but they're telling bad. don't give him peanut butter. He's been giving the kid six months of yeah. peanut butter. How did you miss the peanut butter one? I, I, two kids and I missed the peanut butter story. I never heard Jack, the peanut butter story. did you know the story? peanut butter story? I knew that they can be allergic to it, but I thought you kind of watched for it the first yeah. time. Yeah. No, uh, we... We had peanut butter. There's a whole list of yeah. stuff. Our doctor gives us a printout every time you go. I know, but I mean, I thought right. you just wor- watch for an allergic reaction, right. you know, and then. No, uh, I think it's because the peanut one can be fatal, like instantaneously. Uh, but the, it, it was weird because I read something. I don't know if I. Yeah, I did read this. I'm not even going to make it up because it's true. Um, that women who consume peanuts during their pregnancy are less likely to have a child uh, that is allergic to peanuts. That makes sense. Yeah, that it? makes yeah, sense. That makes sense. Yeah, so my uh, my kid's going to love tequila. <laughs> <laughs> All righty then. Ooh. Yeah, Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, anywho, well, here's the deal. Uh, big old Bob is um, going to be on the, the hizzy. Mm-hmm. Or the shizzy. No, he's going to be in the hizzy. He's not going to be in the hizzy, but he's going to be on the shizzy. Or the busy. No, he's going to be. Let's see. How does that work? He's going to be in the hizzy because we've said on the hi- in the hizzy with a lot of people that were just phoning in. So he's going to be kind of in the hizzy. On the fizzy. He's going to be on the fizzy. No, he's going to be on the fizzizzle. Ooh, that was a bonus. Why is it the Because it's not the fizzizzy. It's the fizzizzle. I don't know how it works. Well, I'm telling he's you. He's going to be on the fadoodle. <laughs> 
Bob White calling uh, the show in a little while. Yeah, there I'm the Fadoodle. Remember yeah. my uh, my new plan? But that's a dog. He's not calling in on a dog. No, my new plan is adding Oodle to everything on the phone. Oh, Fadoodle. Right, I forgot. Uh, anyway, yeah. So Big Bob will be uh, here. Also in our studio will be Robert Schimmel. Um, you know, last night I knew he was gonna be on. I was like Robert Schimmel, but he is um, you know, funny. Yeah, he's very <laughs> funny, and you'd know him if you saw him. I mean, yeah. you do, but I just don't know how to explain. You know, he's a comedian. He's Isn't he? Is he in that show, uh, Blue Collar? Is he in that new show? No. no. No, he's not a blue collar kind of guy, but he has a, a few of those HBO specials. Right. You've probably yeah. seen him on those. Yeah. He does, you know. Uh, right, exactly. So he is going to be here as well. Uh, we have a buttload of stuff to talk about. We also have Know It All Deb with some birth defect info. Nice. But first, let me give you this. <laughs> I know. I know. It's a good show. Uh, <laughs> Wowie. Uh, first of all, though, let me tell you, 26,000 injuries um, each year are caused by deer, cows, and squirrels on the freeway and roads. So there you go. And half the animal-related accident uh, motorists are injured by hitting the animal, while the other half are injured by swerving to avoid hitting the Mm -hmm. animal. Who knew that? My God. Um, Deadly debris and dead debris. Right. (laughs) Deadly dead debris. I had uh, All the 3Ds. I had two coyotes and a possum this morning on my walk. And a partridge in, in a, a pear tree. tree. Two coyotes and a possum. Mm-hmm. That was a full day. You were like mutual home, wild, no, wild kingdom. They were all like far away running, except the possum, and we don't shoot possum. Uh, so I just saw them. It was it was Animal Kingdom, but it wasn't like the cool coyote hunt I like so much. Yeah, right. And he got one the other day. Yeah, it was bitching. Oh, we oh my were God. About that. I know. I know how excited you were. Each year, about 200 people die in car crashes with animals. There were 247,000 crashes involving animals in 2000. You know, but it's just hard to take it. You know, like you kind of squint your eyes and you're like, I'm going to hit it. And uh, I have not had it actually happen except with a dead animal already. But I was flying on the bike. And there was just no way to avoid the large dead thing in front of me. And all I could think Speed to do bump. All yeah. I could think to do is stand up really high on the pegs in case it stopped me. Because I wanted to just be able to fly over like a missile and hope my helmet and leathers protected me. I didn't want to flip over and then roll and break my elbows out of hell. But that's what would happen if it stopped you. No, I would launch like a missile and then ah, just hopefully cool. get uh, a lot of road rash. And then put your spread your arms out like, yeah, I'm flying. <laughs> No, I think even though, because lately I've started not wearing my gloves because they're a big hassle and it's warm out. Right. But I think I would go to like the dive position and just hope to land and just skid along the ground. But it'd be cool if you did like a, a spin, like a, a Greg Luganis kind of like a thing. Because you know, you're preparing for it. So you might as well like do a trick. I am prepared for that. <laughs> Almost every stoplight, because that's the only thing that scares me. Oh, I set a new record on the way to work this morning. Oh, congratulations. What would we do? Not a high speed. My high speed's still 165. But I made it from home to work in five minutes flat. It's eight miles, and three of it are regular street. That's pretty good. That's fast, man. So thank God uh, you told your therapist that you'd stop driving all fast or you'd get rid of the bike. I told you yesterday, I said, I will stop putting my bike away unless I can control it. And I can't control it, and I didn't put it away. I can't make that bike go under 110. I just can't. It's its fault. We're going to have to put a, uh, one of those regulators, the governor, on it. Yeah. yeah. How horrible would that be? <clears throat> Excuse me. Beep, 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 beep. My Jixer 750 won't do over 55. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And now, ladies and germs, what you've been waiting for. Just off a two-week stint at Helen's Trailer Park and Bar. Coming to you from Southern Illinois, where the Hoodals rape the chickens and no one cares. That's right, he kids because he loves... It's Bob White! I talked to him. You haven't talked to him? No. So I've talked to him. I know, that's weird. I talked to him last night. I didn't. Bob... I was like at Disney World. I got a good laugh with my opening hello with Bob White. <laughs> hello. Hi, Dad. Hey. Hey. Top of the morning to you. Hi. How are you, buddy? This is Bob White living out where the hoodows rape the chickens. And, and nobody, nobody cares. cares. I started my conversation with Bob last night like this. Hey, it's Danny from where the hoodows rape the chickens and the chickens have lawyers. Very nice. That's a good one. Hey, Dad, a couple funny. of things. That was funny. Yes. Thank you. Uh, first of all, don't say anything about the things that you sent me. I got them uh, late yesterday. But oh, okay. I put them in um, one car, and then I ended up taking the other car because the other car didn't have oh, gas. Okay. So they're in there. <laughs> 
But don't say anything about no, that. No, I'm not. Okay. I'm not. okay. Cool and stuff. Um, number two is, was gosh. It cool, was it cool stuff? Yes, it was very cool. Thank okay. you. We, okay. And everybody at the house enjoyed it immensely. Okay. We played game. Well, I'll talk about it later. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, and then number two is, uh, gosh, Dad, you sure are missing it. Sure you don't want to be out here going to Disneyland, Universal Studios, Knott's Berry Farm. You know, I think <laughs> I would rather watch paint dry. You know, I, I think he broke his knee on purpose just not to have to right. walk around you City Walk. absolutely I know. right. Oh, boy, Dad, you're missing it. Woo, crazy. Missing it. Let me tell you what missing is it about. You okay. Know, I, I, I got rid of my uh, house cleaner because... My God, she would hide things and I could never find them. It was so frustrating. Like yeah. Everything in the world, just you just couldn't find it. Well, at any rate, I cleaned my refrigerator. Oh, oh, oh! oh. A giant wow. cold petri dish. Oh, yep. you're right. Jeez, mushrooms had mushrooms on them. It was nasty. <laughs> in the bottom of of the refrigerator that I have, there's a coiled plastic pipe that's used to chill water. For the, the water dispenser. Okay. Well, it had had, uh, it's had some time in its brief lifespan, um, spaghetti sauce and our barbecue sauce had dripped down from up above oh. onto this coil and had solidified oh. a oh. massive gob of oh. red Greasy. stuff. Oh, I yummy. I couldn't get it off. So oh, I, wow, the new concrete. Yeah. It was <laughs> terrible. I actually, this is true. I actually thought about getting my electric pressure washer to, to wow. blow it off. Wow. That's I had, serious. I, wait, wait, I had more sense than that, so I used my water pick. And that did a pretty nice job. <laughs> well, that's smart. That's really smart. It was until I sprayed the light bulb. Poof. That sucker blew right up. Oh, oh, you had me, then you lost oh, me. Oh, bummer. It, yeah, well, so I had But that was smart. I didn't think about using a water pick as a it, tiny little high-pressure yeah, washer. Yeah, right. that's a great idea. Yeah, I know. Real nice Dad, job. you have a brilliant idea. We should market that as, like, and, and like, repackage it. Sure. The tiniest high-pressure washer for your car. It's a, it's a great absolutely. idea for those yeah, nooks and crannies. Because yeah. they have those little tiny vacuums for the keyboards of your computers. Right. Mm-hmm. So it's a, there's a market for that. Oh, Dad, well, you might have something there. I... I did not know one can accumulate so many bottles and jars of, listen to this, Jamie. Yes. Of pepperoncinis. <laughs> we love pepperoncinis. Jamie, every time she comes home, buys at least one or two jars of pepperoncinis. Right. Well, there are there is a backlog <laughs> of pepperoncinis. Well, it's because it kind of grosses me out when it gets that weird ring at the top of like a mold and, well, and rust. There now. I filled waste cans full of sauces and garbage, and I actually ended up with two shelves with nothing on them. But isn't that kind? Wow. It's kind of a weird, good feeling. That yeah, is a good yes, feeling. Yes, it is. Yeah. Then I went to the deep freeze side. Oh yeah, I, uh, uh, I bet well, there's I bet there's a lot of oh, fish. Oh boy, you're right. Uh, a lot of old packages of fish and squirrel and and things like that oh. that one collects when you live in this environment. Gosh, nothing like a little tenderloin of squirrel. You know, well, okay, right, here's the tragedy. Roast. When I put it back into the refrigerator, uh-huh. into the deep freeze size. Uh, two days later, I noticed on the counter I had not put all the packages back in. Oh. Well, <laughs> the fish after two days sitting on the counter. Oh. oh you got it. All right. Wow, you know what? It pa- turns out Benjamin Franklin was wrong. How's that? He said after three days, fish and house guests start to stink. You know. And it turns that. out it's only two days. Yeah. <laughs> oh. It was in this case. I guess it was warm enough, but it was it was a real sad Sad mess. Oh, yummy, Dad. That sounds good. It sounds like I, I'm very busy. I, I, you I, know what, though? I, Can I tell you something? Yeah. I'd trade you places. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, here's one other fupa of your dad. Okay. Then, you know, um, we have this neat swimming pool here. It's really, really great uh, right on the lake. and um, It's cool because it's like it's it's. In the same, I don't know when it was built, 1940 or something? Right. What? 1918 is when the club was formed. I don't wow. know when the pool was built. So. But it's weird. I mean, it's really rough on the sides. It's concrete. <laughs> I mean, it's a concrete pool. But it's cool because it's almost like an infinity pool back in the right day. Right into where, the lake. Yeah, it's really cool. Yeah. So at any rate, it, it's never crowded. It and, and the water is just here. crystal clear. And it's a wonderful place to go. Therapy for my knee. Right. right. And occasionally there are some... Uh, interesting bikinis to look at. Nice. <laughs> and the ladies, ladies don't look bad either. <laughs> but, Dad, those women don't wear bikinis. 
well, there are a few that come in. Most of these women down here have the, you know, when they climb out of the water, their backs, their legs, um, uh, between their knees and their butt have this kind of gob look. It's it's, it's not called oh. cellulite, Dad. Oh, Imagine well, the dresses. Yeah, it's mm, yeah. All right. Imagine At the outfits rate, on the women that have been going there since it opened. Since the <laughs> the day after right. World War Two or World War One ended, right. they're like a hundred now. People who have that tremendous problem on their body should be forced to wear something like a sweatsuit in swimming. Oh it's called a wetsuit, Bob. Now, oh, Dad, maybe God. you should cover your big old belly and wear a T-shirt yeah, when you swim. Physician, hey, wait, heal wait, thyself. Wait, wait, wait. We'll not talk about my dicky-doo belly. Oh, okay. Right. <laughs> hey, Bob, I got an offer for you, and I'm not kidding. Oh, I'm, I'm listening. When you come out here, because yes. I thought of it when you said squirrel in the freezer. Yes. When you come out, I have a morning ritual now. I go out on a coyote hunt, and I get one almost every day. Really? Yeah, I live he up in the park. doesn't bag it, though. No, I just shoot it with a BB gun as, as it, it stalks my little dog, and it runs away. But oh. if you don't care about getting arrested, we can shoot it with whatever you want. <laughs> but maybe spend the night at my house one morning, and we'll and go... coyote hunt. And we'll go out at like 3.30 <laughs> when I normally do. We'll bag our asses a coyote. Well... Uh, actually, the pelts are worth something, you know, they're not worth a with <laughs> premium, but, but we can sell the pelts. Can I kill it right there on a city street? I no. live right at the last house you, before Major Park. If, I don't mind if you do. <laughs> oh, so <laughs> either do the neighbors. I, I don't mind. I mean, we we have the same problem uh, here where the hoot owls, uh, you know. Uh, Rake right the, the chickens, chickens and nobody cares. Right, but we have, we, have, we have coyotes, yeah, lots of them. Yeah, and but we have bobcats and um, that type of I stuff. I just don't think they're good eating. No. Uh, how is the I've knee? Be- because the walk usually takes, uh, it's a little under two miles, and half a mile of it is uphill. Not a big hill. Ooh. Too much for the knee? You might no. have to carry him on your back. No. It's a you slow stroll. Him. Come spend one night at Miles. We'll do the coyote hunt before, before the show. And you can go what? swimming in the herpy pool. I have a really nice pool and jacuzzi <laughs> for the your knee. Herpy pool. <laughs> and um, uh, will your wife be gone? No. <laughs> Why are we going to do it? <laughs> well, you know, you never know. <laughs> <laughs> because why, Danny? Because uh, even uh, manly men. Because even the tough ones can be gay. <laughs> that's, that's what I've heard. All right, Dad. All right, thanks, Bob. On that note, Danny and, and Dad are now gay, and we've got to go. We've been chatting. Uh, we're going hunting. That's lovely. We're going to do the man thing. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 Well, how 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 how's the weather in your part of the world? It's good. It's, it's beautiful. beautiful, actually. Really, it's been great. beautiful. Yeah, great for the kids. They're all sunburnt. By the way, uh, your your uh, grandchildren are, I mean, they are so red. <laughs> really? Oh, they got so burnt yesterday at the beach, and so did, did Mary Jo. They did the ocean bit. Yes, they did. That's how well, she's trying okay. to get out of Disneyland, cooking them. You know what kind of? Why yeah. why I'm curious. Why do people really punish themselves to go to these entertainment centers? Like Disneyland. I don't know. Because they're the happiest place place on on earth. Earth. Okay. (laughs) Damn it. (laughs) All right, Dad, we got to go. All right, ladies and gentlemen. See you when you get here. Get better. Or what? Your prostrates get better. Oh, okay, oh, thank man. You. Thank, thank you very much. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right, love you bunches. Keep smiling and remember, live life as much as you can because it's later than you think. Very it. nice. Yeah, that's I true think enough. about that a lot. That's All right. true enough, man. All right, All right. love you, Dad. Bye, Bye. Bob. Bye. Bye. Au revoir. Bob. Yeah, okay. I love Bob. I've always loved Bob the entertainment factor, but I got to tell you, the warm, <laughs> warm heart. Want to fight? Uh huh. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, but why did you do that? I see that's the fight. Bring it. <laughs> oh, don't oh, do don't that. Don't start that. <laughs> I point my toe. Oh my God, this is so funny. One time, this is so true. God, such children sometimes. It, it just reminded me of a flashback, uh, not to bring him up, but of that guy I used today, FP, and and we actually sat there on the phone one day and went. And I went Oh my God! Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Oh my! Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. Like if I change it, then for, for how long? But no, wait. But what I'm saying is, if I went, yes, you did. That he would give me a different response. No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> he he wouldn't give me that. No, I didn't. No, he didn't even like go back oh, to the same uh, whatever you you, yeah. you call it. And then I'd be like, Oh my God! Yes, you did. No, I didn't. <laughs> I'd be like, change up, dude.
<laughs> I do that with my three-year-old. Oh, my God. I know, but I just recognized that Stench and I just sat here and did it our own selves. You and I did uh-huh. it once. No, you shut up. No, you shut no, up. No, you shut up. And then it went where? And then I threw a crab at you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a plastic crab. I ate one of these at Gladstone Bluff. You know, we're talking about uh, creepy people, and some of the people are calling about they get creepy phone calls. <laughs> I got a nice creepy phone call yesterday. Yeah. My housekeeper, Trish, from Jamaica or wherever she is, with quite the accent, the fine Christian woman that she is, says to me, You're a Danny man. <laughs> Freddie Fatfinger. I can't do the accent. Freddie Fatfingers? Fre- Freddie Fatfingers is on the phone. And I said, What? Freddie Fatfinger. He said he know you. <laughs> Freddie Fatfingers. And I said, Bobby Badfingers? Bobby Badfingers? No, no, Freddy Fat Fingers <laughs> is on the phone. You sure? Because I don't want to take it. Right. She goes, he says your dog ate his stash of marijuana. <laughs> and I said, give me the phone. Hi, Mike. Because <laughs> that's when it I knew. Is you a stench? <laughs> Freddy it went fingers. on forever. Why didn't she answer your? That was your cell phone. I was leaving you a message saying, "Hey, this is what happened on this. This, this is what just changed for the show tomorrow." Blah blah blah. And she answers, and I'm like, "Ding, light bulb, <laughs> foreigner." Why did she answer your cell phone? Because uh, my phones and computers are totally down. Is AOL a sponsor? I don't know. No, they suck. Really, I have no problem with them yeah, at all. Yeah, well, the guy, the the Geek Squad, who I love and adore, said switch immediately to like Verizon or something. Mm. They said when they, because you can't. It's not that like they break down a lot. Mm. What? They're getting I'm guessing out. operator air. <laughs> no, no, it's down. They, no, because the guy said so. No, professional people came over and went, "Hey, the man." Geek Squad said, "Jack." We've yeah. been on the phone with them for two days, just trying to get someone to answer. And then today, go when online I online and have them answer too. I can't go uh, online. Um, all right. But every don't feel bad. Everybody has said that. Well, I can't get on the internet to get help from AOL. Just because of the checkered right. pass. They say, go on the <laughs> I go, I can't get online. And they say, well, go online and tell AOL if they want to answer their phone. It's like, hey, I just said I can't go online. It's like this. It's like this, like that. Jack and I were having this discussion, and I will get back to you and uh, no, you don't. Yes, I will. No, I don't. In a minute. Shut up, oh, Freddy Fat Fingers. <laughs> uh, uh, Dukes ate my stash of marijuana. It's not funny. First, this kind of rolls into that. Jack and I were talking during the the whatever the hell it was um, about how because my dad used the water pick, which is really smart That's to clean really off something. Smart. And um, and he's one of those guys that like can look at a situation, and figure out something to do with it. And and Jack said, "Isn't it weird when you watch somebody struggling some- with something very simple, and you don't know if you should jump in and go, okay, look, here's how you do it, because you're like, oh, or you just hold your tongue because you don't want him to think you're a, a jerk." Well, now Jack is brand new to a family, the Sparkles family, right? And they were trying to figure out how to keep everything from being wet in the in the boat. Well, okay, so we're getting ready to go to Kentucky, and they're loading up the boat, and Sparkle's brother goes, where should I put the 12 packs of beer? And her dad says, put them up in the front, and her brother says, well, it's going to rain. They'll get disintegrated like they do every year. And so, and the dad goes, don't worry, it happens every year. And I'm right. thinking, now I have to carry 60 individual bottles to the cabin when we get there, right? Right. Well, so I throw out... Throw advanced out, thinking, man. Right. So nice. I throw out the idea... Hey, why don't you just put those in trash bags? In oh. fact, you can put everything in trash bags, and it doesn't matter how much it rains. But at first, he waited with his right. knowledge of right. trash bags right. covering the big old 12 well, packs or whatever with trash bags. Right, because up until this point, I thought, this isn't really going to go bad for me. You know right. what I mean? Like, this is a pain in the butt for them. They're going to have to clean out all this disintegrated cardboard. But then I realized when we get there, we have to unload this stuff, and yeah, it'll be armfuls of bottles. Yeah, but it's that fine line, Jack. They've been doing this traditionally for 10, 20 years. Yeah, they like to do that. No, because when I said it, it was like lightning struck them. Oh. They were like, you know, like, why haven't we been doing oh, this for 20 God, years? Oh, my God, that Jack is so smart. <laughs> right. I'm glad he married our daughter. Uh, Which made me feel worse then, because then I was like, oh, they're going to think I'm a smart ass or something, and now I'm trying to... It is that fine line, because so, like, and this happens uh, a little bit with you, uh, the Dan, because you, you, like, there'll be a simple answer to something that that you can't figure out. All all the time. And I'm thinking, well, do I tell him, or do I let him, like, you know how you, like, let kids figure it out for themselves? (laughs) Like, should he learn something? But then you just drive me nuts over the edge about, like, because I see it. So I'm like, you just click on right 
care. Right, but that's, it's, <laughs> let me save you from feeling bad. It's nothing I'm going to learn. It's some sort of disorder. <laughs> <laughs> so you can always tell me. Okay. Because I'll never learn it. Okay. Well, and uh, but I think what it is is ADD because I don't think you pay attention to if somebody told you at once, maybe. Very possibly, unless yeah. it captured my attention. Yeah. Yeah. Huh, something to think about. Not for very long, if you're right. <laughs> <laughs> it is Friday, August da, 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 da. 6th. All day long. I got it right. I'm very proud. It's the little things in life. We're going to GameWorks tonight. Uh, yeah, but, uh, so I think we're taking like 40 people. Uh, for sure. <laughs> I know that I've got a busload of people going with me. Uh, yeah, and I think like 40, uh, 40 of you all are yep. going with us, so that'll be fun. Um, here's the thing. We were talking about when you don't know if you should uh, say something or not, like Jack and his, uh, his glad moment. <laughs> right. You, know, you just don't know if you should say something. Well, I have a friend who, I love that. <laughs> I have a friend who, um, she is a worrier. I mean, she worries more than anybody I've ever met. Try How is Audrey? It's not her. Wow. Yeah. And it's weird. They're this one's saying, well, Audrey's saying, but I mean, this <laughs> one is just really worries about everything, and and um, it, and it's almost crippling because she's just like, oh my god, oh my god, you know, like that. So um, everybody's in the boat and on Havasu Lake, and everybody's having fun. Blah 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 blah. Well, she sees a buoy out in front of him. And the, the person that's driving the boat has been a boater forever, never had an accident, great, you know, can drive, everything. So she's sitting there. She's like, okay, I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to say anything. She sees the buoy still coming up, coming up. She's not going to say anything because she doesn't want to overreact because she's the girl that always overreacts. Right. And then everybody makes fun of her. So she still sees it coming, coming, coming. Finally, she screams out, buoy! And they whip it around. They barely miss the damn thing. And it wow. was one of those metal ones. That would have been bad. It would have killed them, probably. <laughs> so she, like, saved their lives. But because everybody's tormented her so much about being the right. warrior, within seconds she made a decision of whether or not to save their lives. I, I have a tragic story much like that, but it's, it's not nearly as fun. When I used to take drugs... <laughs> <laughs> My, I would get all paranoid instantly. You're supposed to do it when I, I had a friend who. <laughs> no. <laughs> and uh, uh, I would get all paranoid like instantly. And my friends would say, you're no fun to do this with. Always looking for the cops and always freaking out. So one time we're going to get some. And I say, dude, there's a cop behind that mailbox. And he goes, shut up. Uh -oh. And I said, dude, there's cops in those cars over there. Shut up. I swear to God, there's cops in that tree. Shut up. We make the buy, and I was right. Oh. <laughs> and that was the big Daytona Beach one. Oh. <laughs> and I was filming like an MTV Says No to Topper. Drugs campaign. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm looking right at these cops, and I've, I've said there's cops there so many times that weren't there. And nobody's listening. Like yeah. there was a fire hydrant or something. I'm telling you guys, there's a cop in that tree. <laughs> oh. We go to make the buy. All oh, these lights come on. <laughs> Isn't that that wolf thing or whatever? They yeah, are? totally. Yeah. yeah, it's the boy who cried wolf that he thought he actually saw though. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. But you know, it is true. You don't know if you should like say anything, and, and I think it's better just to say something than not to. Good. Don't you think? I mean, she saved their lives within yeah. two seconds. <laughs> that's a big one. Yeah. yeah and by the one. way, you know what's really funny? It's now it's such a feather in her cap. <laughs> she like walks around. I saved her bed's life. I'm the buoy saver. <laughs> she doesn't do that, but I just made it up. Right. Right. And it was kind of stupid. Anyway, uh, <laughs> Jack, I think we're ready for our first call. Yay. The first call of the day with Jamie and Danny. Isn't it I'm burning, I'm burning, I'm burning for you? Yeah. 
He I'm said burning, with. I'm burning, I'm burning for you. You said with. Oh. I don't think so. Yes, you did. I heard it. Rewind the tape. I heard with. That's we why I said have for. Tape. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Remember. I That's why Ixnay I said on it. the ape tape. <laughs> All right, here's the thing. Uh, first calls of the day are brought to you by Fashion. It looks like Coop. Is it Fashion Co-op? It's Fashion Co-op. Glad you asked. I yeah. like those guys. Fashioncoop.com is where you can find uh, more information about that. It's uh, it's where over 150 emerging designers come together to sell their latest and greatest designs to the public for 40 to 70% off. The retail prices of the event will take place on, what, Saturday and Sunday? Cool. At the Water Garden in West LA, so uh, it's kind of a cool thing if you want to go with your girlfriends or uh, you know a manly man. Fashion Coop Co-op dot com. All right, there you go, Jack. I'm gonna put that over there. First call of the day. This is Deb. Oh, it's Know It All, Deb. Your it friend. is Know It All, Deb. Hi, Deb. Hi, guys. How are you doing? We're good. How are you? Dude, why are you I up so great. early? My God, you're up at like five thirty. Yes, I was. I was up at five thirty today. You are nuts. Well, you know, I got a two year old. You get up when she gets up. Right. <laughs> What's going on with that there squeaky ass voice? I'm trying to be sexy like you, Jamie. Oh, well, then you're doing it wrong. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Not exactly totally working out for you. Allergies. Ah, I gotcha. All right, what can we do for you? I have very good news for you, Jamie. Okay. Okay. Um, about what you were talking about in terms of pregnancies, first of all, we couldn't control for that because there's so many more prenatal tests. What so, we're talking about, by the way, just to yeah. bring you up to date, because this was about 5.15, <laughs> <laughs> is that it's really odd to find out if you're in the eighth month of pregnancy or, um, like, for example, the reason why it came up, Stench has been given his kid peanut butter forever, right. and he just found out he, hasn't, he wasn't supposed to. Right. Right. And you said it turns out if you'd get your nails done, your hair bleached, and you just found out, you're, you, just found out you weren't supposed to and you're eight months pregnant. And I was wondering if all these new warnings are actually helping. Are birth defects down from, say, the 50s? And I said, I don't know. They are, but you can't control for it because all the prenatal tests are so much more advanced that they do catch birth defects that they would not have caught before. Well, because a lot of them are genetic. Right. right. And they catch most of those. And there are so many more tests that are non-invasive. Even from my 12-year-old to my 2-year-old, I didn't have to do, I did amnio with my 12-year-old. I didn't have to do amnio with my 2-year-old. Because you're old? <laughs> no, actually, you get it because you're no, older the and a 12-year-old, that wouldn't make sense. Because the ultrasounds and stuff are so much younger. more right, advanced, right. they catch everything <laughs> on ultrasound. I went to math school and failed. <laughs> <laughs> See, and the, uh, the 12 year old should be younger and the two year old But the 12 year old's older than the younger and 12 and two year old, so that's why I got confused, even though she'd have been younger with the 12 year old. Right. I get it now. Okay, good. And Jamie, I drank uh, Diet Coke with, when I was pregnant with my two year old, and it was fine. Well, I, 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 hyper now though. By the way, not even a, a possibility of the pregnancy thing. This should not be directed right. at me. I was just talking. <laughs> it's Monica, right? That, right, that's past the time guy. For future reference, yeah, but you know, never can tell. I, if I happen. if I understand correctly, passing time guy doesn't get to finish actually in the same room with you. Oh, passing time <laughs> guy is gone. Oh, he's well, been passed. eliminated. Right. He was voted <laughs> off the Jamie Island rather quickly. Yeah, he was eliminated. Well, Jamie, I wasn't even married until I was 31, and I have three kids. That's great. Why are you directing all this at me? I I'm don't just care. Letting, I'm just, I'm I just was married at 27. <laughs> yes, you were. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, passing time guy. Uh, uh, you know what? That time had passed. Right, sure. <laughs> I understand. All that, my darling, we'll give you a, a little gift uh, bag or whatever from the hell, uh, from Fashion Coop. Co op. I know. And well, just remember the thing that Madonna couldn't get into. How come? Because she, they didn't like her. She tried to buy this really glamorous apartment in a co-op. Oh, yeah. And you have to meet with the board, and they said, we don't like your kind. Uh-huh. <laughs> All righty, we are, uh, we've taken the first calls of the day, took them real early this morning for yeah, a change. Yeah, wow, we're good. I was I'm very right. impressed. Did I tell you it's August 6th? Yeah, all day long, <laughs> until it melts right into the 7th. And that's right. Anyway, uh, a couple of things. First of all, Danny's going to tell you uh, later on a little bit about what's been going on in his life. And um, That's why there's so many people in my house and weird stuff going on. Yeah, but you've been doing really well. Thank you. Really well, I, but almost like scary. Really? Like maybe a denial? That has been brought up to me mm-hmm. by my relatives. And thoughts? Uh. It's easier. I don't know, because if I'm, in, if I'm in actual denial, then I don't know. Right, right. You're right. Okay. You know, denial's not like something you do on purpose, then you're kind of lying. Yeah. If you're, in deni- if you're in denial, you don't know it. You know what? You're right. Thank you. Yeah, you're absolutely right. So, um, you know, but... So maybe. It has been brought up to me. 
But you know what? It's not. It's none of our business. The people like me that just did that. No, that's all right. I'm just only saying it because of the show. But I would never say that to you if we didn't have the show. You okay. know what I mean? Yeah. Um, because I think everybody deals with that kind of crap in their own. My way. my family has said, including my wife, that on a couple of occasions, and I, I I disagree, by the way, but that my behavior has been inappropriate. It's just your own thing. Yeah, that's that's the way I figure it. Yep, it's your own thing. That's that's the only way I can. Describe it's your own thing, and uh, again, you know, I would never go, "Hey, dude, you act like it. it's not happened." Um, well, that is what I'm doing. Well, it's easier the blockage. Well, it's also uh, when I ma- when I made the decision that I was going to continue to do my job. Right. I thought it would be very weird to come in here and joke all around and play all around. It would be odd for everyone, including people listening. So when I made the decision to continue working, right. then I made the decision to not block. to tell. Yeah. And then when I didn't tell, I guess I just have, according to other people, I've I've been blocking or something. Yeah. It's, it's, there's so many things to come. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, uh, yeah. <laughs> By the way, if you thought drugs were a roller coaster, strap yourself in, my friend. Yeah, this is it's 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 <laughs> it's surreal. It's surreal. It's surreal. So strap yourself in because this one is the biggest drug you'll ever be on as far this, as a roller coaster. Well, I I have to watch the other ones too. The ones that think my behavior is inappropriate because their behavior is completely appropriate. Right. You know what I mean? Right. They're doing exactly what you'd think that I should be doing. Yeah. And they're doing it. Right. And then everybody, it's just. So- yeah, it's it's wild. It's, it's a whole wild. Thing. It is a whole thing. But what we're gonna do is because uh, we have a, a comedian coming up, so I think we'll go through that. Do you thing. know? I remember specifically, he's got a very interesting thing that he talks about openly. Yeah. Maybe I'll tell him. All right. It, it, after I, <laughs> after his gig. Are you talking about uh, the fact that he left his wife for his daughter's friend? <laughs> no, I, for, I forgot that part. <laughs> Maybe I got the wrong no, guy. No, you got the right because because part of it was it was he left. Okay, when yeah. we've said thank you very much to Robert, mm-hmm. and before he goes, I will tell him. What? <laughs> when we've had our fun time with Robert, who has a very similar thing being funny through something like Robert that. Robert Schimmel, yeah. I'll tell him. Okay, all right. And then right, it'll right. be out of the way. All right, perfect. All right, uh, uh, so Danny has something to tell a little. Um, all right, and also uh, we will take some phone calls about your nephew, the cheese head. He's the cheese man. I'm sorry. Have you lost your mind? Oh, my God, I feel shame. Dude, he was strutting up and down his own street in the head and the cape. And just, like, he lives next to a synagogue, and they were all going, what are you? And he was saying, I am cheese man. <laughs> Gosh, this is a shame. I've never seen the crown handed over so quickly. What do you mean? In the cheese man category. What do you mean? I don't understand. Oh, you cheese. Danny and a bunch of people from Boise will be on a panel today at the morning show boot camp. Yes, yes, I will. And he didn't even know it. I just found out in the break room and reminded him. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't know it. <laughs> well, you know, a lot of uh, the people at Morning Show Boot Camp will be listening well, this morning, so we should uh, show up our best work, everybody. It's not even. It's like I didn't know. It's on my thing. It says Boot Camp on my schedule, but for some reason, this this VH1 show I'm doing, uh-huh. where we're trying to find the new Partridge Family, has a thing called Boot Camp, where I teach them all how to do it, and I forgot that I was doing this cheat this thing, and thought it was that. It's not. No, I hear. Uh-huh. <laughs> I remember back in the good old days, every morning I would come in and Danny would say, hey, there's only 200 days to morning show boot camp. Right. And we'd laugh and, we'd and laugh. now the day is here. We'd even slap our knees. Uh-huh. <laughs> and now you're a panel boy. <laughs> and I believe I have to like zip from here on my motorcycle oh, to get well. there in time. Do da at day. 10:30. At 1030 <laughs> where? I didn't ask that. <laughs> How did you find out I was doing it? I'm in the hallway, and one of the other producers said, hey, are you going with Danny to boot camp today? <laughs> and I said, what are you talking about? Danny's speaking on a panel at Morning Show Boot I'm Camp. I'm speaking? Woo! Yeah, guess with who? Tuna. You and the Charlie Tuna? Charlie Tuna? 
Oh, then I'm happy to do it. But he's a legend. You will be overshadowed by the tuna. I don't know. Ooh, Dan will hold his own at morning yeah. show boot camp. Do the time right now, real quick. Yeah, oh, yeah wait, wait, wait. Uh, yeah, good luck. 718, 7 after the hour. 7 uh, after the hour? You just screwed up the morning uh, show staple. Oh, you can't sit no. on a panel. That was my joke, You're going to be disbarred. That was oh, I didn't know you were doing, doing a joke. Wrong. I would have played Danny's joke of the day intro. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh. No, you got to wait hey, for that. Try it again, Dan, and make sure you turn this away. Let me, let me, but that's yeah, not, yeah, that's yeah, 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 yeah. that's a different kind of joke. Oh, no, 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 yeah, yeah. oh, I can't find the drum shot. What did we do with that? That thing? was just me saying I'm really bad at radio and probably shouldn't be at the boot camp. Hey. I know, but what, you guys, whatever happened to our drum shot? Everybody in morning show drum boot camp. Shot, yeah, they, they love that crap. I remember. I re- uh, well, try it never mind. All right, try it again. Hey, it's 19 after the hour. That's seven minutes after nine. <laughs> no, but, but see, I, you misunderstand. I wasn't trying to be funny. I was trying to be bad at radio and get kicked off the panel. But I apparently, apparently oh, being no. bad at radio gets you in. You're <laughs> in, my friend. Hey, do the 72 uh, wink and blinking good guy degrees right now. <laughs> It's the blustery <laughs> Bonaduce with the wind chill factor. Wow. <laughs> what are the other ones? Spousal arousal. Going spousal on. arousal. Love that word. That's right. I actually, I got to tell you, when I first got into radio and heard it, I loved it. I thought it was the funniest yeah, thing ever. Yeah, because you're perv. No, because I've also been in radio 15 <laughs> hey. years. It was funny 15 years ago. Candid phone. Do one. <laughs> Candid phone. You did one yesterday my housekeeper. Not on Freddy the radio. Fat Fingers. Not on the radio. Said my dog ate your marijuana. I know. Do funny thing. Phone Olympics. Remember Cordless Phone Olympics? Oh. I also thought that was very funny oh, at the yeah. first time I heard it. And until we put one in an aquarium and it just goes it dead. Like, yeah, you don't hear the fish talk at all. Anyway, all right. So uh, yeah, you can see Danny at his appearance at Morning Show Boot Camp. Well, they can't just come. It's a radio thing, isn't it? Yeah, I don't even know where it is. Don't let anybody yeah. in. <laughs> don't, apparently, don't let anybody speak. <laughs> kind of like Clear Channel. <laughs> I'm a part of that organization. Anyway, all right, here's the deal. Yesterday, Danny brought his uh, nephew, nephew in. Yes, and he was an adorable kid, 16 years old. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, somehow, some way, uh, we, <laughs> we brought the, the, the space between construction people and radio people we brought it closer together. I'm going to do that today at boot camp. <laughs> People that should be in construction and are apparently in radio. And we, we, we closed the gap between uh, foreman and and Jeez. disc jockeys. Oh, okay. You know, we really did. Did you yeah, see? Oh, yeah. yeah. It, was it was an amazing was, bond. And, and now we even have a wave to the foreman devil. Right, and they wave back. And they wave back. There were messages on my car. When I got to the car yesterday. Where is it? Saying a cheese head is not appropriate hard hat. and Yeah, yeah. there's a couple, a couple notes on my yeah, car. Yeah, like what, we have bo- a bond with the construction right, right. people down below, and, and we are with them. We're, we're all one together. And uh, so that happened all because of a man named Cheese Man. Cheese Man. Cheese Man! We strapped on a cheese head on him, and he, <laughs> my friends, bridged the gap. As he did. Wow. <laughs> and now he won't take off the cake. And now... Just like any of you where something goes well, you kind of just, I don't know, hang on to it a little too much. Well, I think twice might not be too much. Okay. <laughs> All right. So anyway, uh, this is what I understand. Did you tell me that he did something to his voice now? Well, he just says, hi, this is Cheese Man. But he said, please call me because a lot of my friends didn't hear it because it's summertime and they're going to wonder why my phone says I'm Cheese Man. And I'm at the cottage. No, I don't think we did that, but that was cottage. really funny. I didn't Jeez. get it first because they love that one at morning show boot camp. They're gonna, I'm use, gonna that. use that one. I'll write that down. I'm gonna say get a character named Cheese Man. It rules. <laughs> it's a Gouda one. Oh, nice! Yeah. Don't make me use any more of my cheese. This is cheese Man, leave your emergency after the beat. Can't save you right now. Bye. Oh, Please record your message right. after the tone, <laughs> or to send a, a numeric gun to his head. <laughs> press two. He doesn't see I, I had a gun to his cheese. <laughs> Cheese man, you don't seem quite as enthralled. <laughs> well, we had forgotten, and he was at his house, and he hadn't slept in a day and a half, and uh-huh. he's only 16 or 15. He wasn't used to that. Yeah, but I wanted some vim and vigor. Maybe that woke him up. Won't try calling him back. Gosh, so I can hear that message again? <laughs> I know hey. that this is a morning show uh, boot camp faux pas. We should have pre-recorded it, Dan, and Hey, cheese man, if you're up, yep. answer your phone. That should do it. And he should be up. Uh... Well, Saving the day. <laughs> see you guys at Morning Show Boot Camp. This is how professionals do it. 
He is Nacho <laughs> Average Superhero. Oh, nice. hey, Cheese hey, Man! Nacho Hello. Average hey, superhero. superhero. Yeah, you're rocking. Hello. Hi, Happy. How are you? I'm good. You sound like a little sleepy there, Superhero. Uh, even superheroes have to sleep, Jamie. Wow, that's hot. <laughs> that's true, too. Yes, yes, they do. A good eight hours, I hear. Nine for this kid, he Nine. said yesterday. Because you live at the cottage, don't you? Get it? Yeah. Cottage cheese? Oh, cottage I see. Cottage cheese. Not my knee. Because you're nacho average superhero. <laughs> oh, my God. That's a good one. You might want to change your message. <laughs> Jack, look at Jack over there thinking. He's thinking of cheeses. He's... Had, you know, there was cheese whiz joke. <laughs> right. He's right. right. a smart he superhero. I was going to say his favorite show was The Munsters. Right. Yeah. right. And Swiss Family Robinson. Oh, oh. they laugh, I say. <laughs> oh. Anyway, uh, so what? Are you backing up? <laughs> <laughs> you busy or something? No, it's the other phone. Oh, right. Very busy this morning. A lot of Cheese Man fans calling up, are they? Really? No, I was, I was just, my mom's looking for the house phone. Uh-huh. Cheese Man has a mom? Cheese Man lives at home. <laughs> <laughs> Cheese Man lives at home, and this is saddening. This is troubling. <laughs> Cheese Man should have his own place. like yeah, a, a like cottage. A, a penthouse, yeah. Cheese, head, uh, or man. Right, very, cheese man. Very dis, uh, distraught that you live with mommy and daddy. But uh, we yeah, have... my assistants. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Your loyal sidekicks? <laughs> Who you call, mom and dad? Now let me ask you something, uh, my friend. All right. Are they just going to shred you when they, they, your friends, when they hear your message? You know, I was asked about this the other day, and it was a very long, hard story to tell. (laughs) It really is, by the way. I tried to help him, and it is a long story. Yeah, you know, um, I get home and people say, Dom, what's up with your answering machine? I I, I like you said the other day, it's been 24 hours he's been cheese man, but it's like, you know, the other day. Well, you know what he's going in. how tired you get being a cheese man. Oh, my God. And you know what? You can now play that Bon Jovi uh, song, On the Steel Horse I Ride. Because I'm a cheese man. And, like, it's really tough. Dead (laughs) or alive. (laughs) So, you know, like you can go into the, oh, it's so stressful being me thing. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, because I hear it in her voice. He sounds stressful. You know what? I think you need to go to a psychiatrist and you need to wear the cheese head and the cape <laughs> and see what he says. <laughs> yeah, see how that goes over. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, because you're 16, correct? Yep. So I just don't know how cool it is to have that message on your voicemail. I mean, for your 16 year old buds. Well, we or have dudes or whatever people you guys ha- say. Yeah. People have weirder answering machines, I guess. I mean, there's this one guy goes around calling himself Captain Cool. So I guess Cheese Man is acceptable. Yeah, because Captain yeah. Cool is so not cool. By the way, Cheese Man's <laughs> loyal sidekick is named Lucas, and he's a full on Dungeons and Dragons geek. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you know all the cool people. You hang with yeah. all the tough guys. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, Cheese Man, if we find anything that needs to be resolved, uh, we will call you. Uh, we, we have your phone number right here, right smack dab in front of me. And, and so if. Uh, Duty calls. <laughs> ah, then uh, don't let anything stop you. And just so you know, Cheese Man, because we have a tendency not to get to, stu- get to stuff, you had fan phone calls this morning. Oh, oh hell yeah. Man. Oh, my God. That's right. I'm yeah. sorry. Hey, uh, Rhonda. Yes. Meet Cheese Man. Cheese Man. Hello, I am Rhonda. your biggest fan. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. We I should start a website. You on tour. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's big. Do autograph shows with Eddie Munster? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Man, so- you can go to concerts, the beach, all the local events. Holy hotfoot. Yes, I can. <laughs> <laughs>